For the last seven years, I've been working as freelancer and indie iOS developer. And here is my top one tip for everyone who wants to do the same. Keep your day job. Not forever, not forever, but as long as possible. If you drop your day job to start freelancing or even harder, living from your indie app development, you add unnecessary stress and uncertainty to your life. The day job takes away time but gives back routine and reliable revenue. Freedom of indie developer or freelancer can be hard to handle. Yes, you don't need to plan vacation days, you can go to the trips on short notice. All those freedoms are nice. And if you have your own app in the App Store, that will keep generate revenue even if you will not work for some time. But for most of us, the routine of day job and monthly revenue is support and not an obstacle. So keep your day job to move into indie development smoothly and make time to work on side projects. Steal the time and work around your family events and work calendar. The next day. Your day job should not be your life's passion, you're just exchanging time for money. Why does happens all the time? Probably you've heard the stories when someone was working for 16 plus hours, born adult, found themselves mentally exhausted and then was just laid off to, yeah, find themselves without work and physically and mentally destroyed. Do not do that. Lidoffs happens all the time. I doubt you need examples to convince you, just take a look at Lidoffs in the last six months. Solopreneurship is the best protection against this outcome. The work is not your family and your co-workers and boss and likely are your friends. If someone in company is saying that you are the family, run from that. Keep that in mind and work on spare time on yourself. Oh, Hodel music is starting to play, probably we will get this video flagged. I have to go inside probably. There are plenty of decent jobs around where you can be paid well without working crazy hours. If you're still looking for the job, keep looking. Do not just quit your job that you don't like now to go full-time indie development or full-time freelance. Find a better job and work on spare time on your indie apps. The good job is where you are paid well, are not overwork, and when you are learning skills which are needed for your next steps while you are getting paid. For example, if you would like to learn programming, so learn some basics enough to get the job and then go and work as a programmer and learn programming while you are getting paid to do that. Let me give you an example. I was a product manager but wanted to build my own indie iOS apps and live from that. As product manager, I learned how to communicate with customers and how to get from business problems that should be solved to the requirements and tasks for developers, but I missed a very important part. I didn't know how to build iOS apps. So I started learning iOS development at nights and weekends. So I started to learn iOS development at nights and weekends and I developed and released a few applications in the app stores and of course I <laughs> earned zero money. But I understood that basically it is hard to compete with all the other developers who are doing development daily and I'm just, I don't know, spending a few hours in a week. And yeah, I decided that I should get a job where I can do programming all day, every day. So back in 2016, there wasn't so many iOS development jobs around in Latvia. At least I didn't found them. And also, at the time, I was working as head of product management for three countries, and that could be kind of weird if I would go to try to get job as a just developer or even junior developer. So I decided to start freelancing and I started to work on freelance projects on weekend and nights and on lunch breaks, for example, I was writing freelance job proposals. And a few months later, I already had too many freelance jobs. I just wasn't able to do all of them while I was working full-time as product manager. So 
it was the right time to drop that uh, full-time job as product manager and I went into freelance full-time. Now I freelance full-time and spend my spare time on indie projects. If I'm looking at revenue per hour, indie apps are making more money than freelancing already, but that's kind of revenue per invested time. I'm still keeping both a full-time freelance job and indie app development, even per hour indie app development is more profitable. That full-time job giving me routine and stability of another consistent and reliable revenue stream. I'm planning to keep full-time freelance and part-time indie at least till the end of this year. We'll see what I will do next year. So let me know what do you think. Should I drop freelance? What you will do? But I think that's kind of the right way to move. Kind of move smoothly without quick jumps, all that stuff. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you on next one. I'm going back to sound. <laughs>